Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm going to basically be re-filming the Ruth Chris chicken video. Remember I told you guys I had already filmed this video and I sliced my finger open mid-vid. So I was just over it, but Today we're gonna just get straight into it. You see I'm chilling, I got my cooking clothes on, I got my ponytail ready. Um, so basically today I'm cooking, I'm gonna do mashed potatoes, I'm gonna do purple asparagus, and then I'm gonna do the chicken itself. So mainly we're focusing on the chicken, but obviously everything's gonna come together at the end also we're gonna this video is really gonna just be mostly focused on the actual cooking and not so much on me because i'm just chilling today i'm in relaxation mode i just feel so good so happy so pure i tell you like when you just cut toxic people and things out of your life life gets better honey i've been living my best damn life so this is a great recipe if you want to like impress a boo or you know just want to eat a good meal it doesn't have to be for a boot but this will be a good impressive meal to give to a boy because or a girl or a girl i ain't judging um it's freaking delicious it literally like tastes just like ruth chris okay so as you guys can see i have some boiling whoa 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 okay so i have some water starting to boil right there for my potatoes but right here i have the actual chicken breast that we're gonna use so in this recipe I use chicken breast at the actual restaurant with Chris Ruth's Chris whichever one Ruth Chris um, they use like it's like I don't know if it's like half a chicken or what it is but it has both the little legs on it but just to be simple quick nice whatever use chicken breast and I did rinse off my chicken breast I am one of the people who rinses my chicken unless I'm boiling it okay unless I'm boiling it because then it's getting cleaned anyway so a lot of people are dumb and were commenting on my shredded buffalo chicken tacos like oh you didn't rinse your chicken honey I boiled it are you dumb are you dumb anyways so basically what you're wanna, gonna want to do with this chicken breast is you're gonna want to cut a pocket into it And I'm gonna pick it up so you guys can see. Be careful when you're cutting this pocket because you don't want to go too far down and you don't want to go too high up because you don't want to make any holes. So basically, you see, I got this little pocket right here. And I just, and this is how you prepare your chicken breasts. Okay, I would say make that pocket kind of deep because the deeper you make the pocket, the more stuffing you can actually put into it. So again, for this side, and really make sure that you do this right. Not too low, not too high, because you don't want any holes. You don't want any of your stuff to come out. I mean, if it happens, it happens, it's fine. But you want it ultimately to have no holes on the inside of your pocket. No holes, thank you very much. Okay, so I'm gonna put this chicken to the side and make the stuffing for it. So for the stuffing of the chicken, what I like to do is I like to add a chopped up jalapeno. This was a pretty big jalapeno. You know I love spicy. I need spicy in everything I do, everything I eat, whatever. So I add a chopped up, diced I guess if you will, uh, jalapeno. Then you're gonna add one pack of the filative, bleh, what? Philadelphia cream cheese. This is the eight ounce little thing. You want this to be at room temperature, so mine is a little cold. And the reason why you want it at room temperature is because when you mix all of this in, you want to be able to like smoothly mix everything. And if it's too cold, it will be a problem. So, I'm gonna go ahead, start with nuking my Philadelphia cream cheese. I'm just gonna put it in the microwave for about 30 seconds. I have a bowl. Bloop. And I'm gonna put this in for 30 seconds in the microwave. So, the other ingredients that you're gonna add in this stuffing is sharp cheddar, 
You're gonna add some Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce. I'm gonna add onion powder, paprika for color, black pepper, and then the key ingredient in this recipe, y'all, it's ranch, salad, season, and mix, the powder kind. You can get it in the salad dressing aisle, but this is the key to the flavor, and I promise you that it's so weird, but it makes it what it is. So also, I got my water boiling over here. I'm gonna add my um, potatoes that I had cut into fourths earlier. Ugh. I hate plopping stuff into boiling water. Oh, let me get a spoon. That's popping a little too hot for me. And this is gonna be for the mashed potatoes that I'm going to make. I'm doing red potatoes and golden potatoes. And I do not take the skin off of them. And I'm gonna just boil those for like 20 minutes. Also, I got my oven on preheat. And you guys, I'm gonna put all of the measurements and temperatures and everything in the in the description. Ah. Because um, I'm really gonna just mostly eyeball it, but I know how much it needs. So I nuked the cream cheese. As you can see, it doesn't look like super melted, but that's fine, that's exactly what I want. I got the nuked cream cheese. I'm gonna put in this jalapeno. This is a lot of jalapeno, but honestly, it's to your preference. And you really don't have to use jalapeno, but jalapeno, whatever. But if you want a little baby kick, also jalapeno is not that spicy, y'all, so grow up. I'm also gonna add some minced garlic, because I use this on everything. And I would assume this is a, about a tablespoon. Hey, let me add a little more. Honestly, y'all, you just do what you wanna do. As far as measurements, if you can cook, you're gonna know what to use. I'm gonna season it with some black pepper. I'm gonna season it with some onion powder. You're really supposed to use garlic powder, but I'm already adding minced garlic, so onion powder is fine. I'm gonna do the paprika for color. And then I'm going to add, I'm really just gonna add half of this ranch pack. Ooh, kinda of messy. Yeah, it's about half. So, you can add half of that. Then you're going to add, oh, I forgot to also mention, you're gonna do sharp cheddar, but you're also gonna do Parmesan cheese. You could use the shredded Parmesan cheese, but I was needing to buy this one anyways today at the store, so I'ma just put this one in there. And honestly, nothing can be too cheesy, so. Go crazy, go stupid. Know how much this is, it's a lot, but it's gonna be so good. Okay, so once you have all of your ingredients in the bowl, you could grab a fork and just mix everything in. And this is why you want your cream cheese to be soft because a hard cream cheese will be hard to just easily, you know, mix in. Oh, I forgot to add the Worcestershire sauce. The Worcestershire! It looks like a lot, but it has like one of those little drippy tops, so not that much is coming out. You guys could also add some fresh herbs like thyme or whatever, but I didn't get any from the grocery store today because last time I got it, I had it sitting in my fridge for so long and I just don't wanna waste something. That cost me $5 for all of that stuff. If I grew my own herbs, that would be fine. So basically, this is what it looks like. This is the mixture. After this step, you're gonna just go ahead and stuff your chicken breast. Okay, so once you have your mixture done, it's gonna be real easy. All you do is open up that flap that you created earlier, just like that, and stuff it in. And I have these toothpicks. 
to basically seal off the chicken breast because you want it to cook while it's closed like this. So I just get a toothpick, pop it in there. Bloop, bloop. And then you're gonna take your chicken breast and place it in your pan, which is just foil with some olive oil on the bottom. So honestly, I could have done probably three chicken breasts with this amount of mixture, but it's all good. And you really can't save this stuff because A, what are you gonna use it for? And then B, um, you're putting it on the raw chicken, it's just not good. So don't try to save any of this, y'all. Just maybe get four chicken breasts, but I'm stuffing these to the brim, so. And I'm telling you guys, this recipe is so good. That might be a little too much. All right, let me get that out. It looks kind of nasty, <laughs> but I promise you it is about to be so delicious. And that baby is stuffed. Okay. After you stuff your chicken breast, Make sure you wash your hands before you season it. You don't wanna be touching raw chicken and then touching on your seasoning. So you gotta be careful when you're cooking with raw chicken because you don't want bacteria getting around. I'ma just hit it with some garlic salt. Keep in mind, I didn't put any salt really in the seasoning. So you could put a little saltiness on top of the actual chicken breast. Hit it with some Lowry seasoning salt. I'm gonna also put on some Tony's cause these are just my regular seasonings that I cook with on a day to day basis. And then a very key point about when you're gonna put this in the oven, you need to put pads of butter on top and around this chicken because you just want this to be smothered in butter and you want the top to brown. So the way to do that is cut some pads of butter and plop it on top. So you're gonna basically pop this in the oven at, hold on, let me double check for y'all. I'm gonna put this in the oven at, I'm gonna actually just insert it because um, I wanna make sure you guys get it right. So my mashed potatoes, well, my potatoes are done boiling and pretty much what I'm gonna do for this, this is such a simple recipe but it's super good. Um, I'm gonna take three quarters of a stick of butter. I'm going to add that. Well, then I'm gonna add something that a lot of people don't, but I'm gonna add a chicken bouillon cube. And it just makes the flavors all good. I'm gonna do some heavy whipping cream. Oh, well this actually, okay, this ain't heavy whipping cream. This is half and half, but I thought it was heavy whipping cream, but well, oh well, we're gonna have to do it anyways. I'm just eyeballing that, what I think is right. And then I'm gonna season it. Keep in mind, I'm gonna season it, but I'm gonna really season as I go. So I'm gonna just keep testing it and trying it and see what's good. And that's really, and uh, of course black pepper. And that's really it. Actually, no, you know what? I'm gonna add some minced garlic, and then that's really it. If you guys don't wanna use the pre-minced garlic, it's fine, you guys can mince your own garlic and it will be delicious, but I just do it like this because it's easier. And I'm gonna add probably about a tablespoon of minced garlic and smash it all up. Okay guys, so this is the final plate. This is the final chicken. All you have to do now is pull out your toothpicks because I mean, you don't need them anymore. Ah, I almost got stuck. But basically you pull out your toothpicks. Ooh, just see it's oozing. It's oozing out, oh my gosh. This is gonna be so freaking delicious. 
I really hope you guys like this recipe. I hope you guys make it for somebody. It looks a little questionable, but honestly, if you've gone to Ruth Chris and you've eaten their stuffed chicken, this is what it looks like. It's oozing out. It's ugly, bubbly, and wubbly. So I really hope that you guys liked this recipe. I hope you guys try it. And send me pictures of your recipes because I love when you guys do that. It makes me so warm and happy inside. So do not forget to like this video, comment this video, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Have a good day. Enjoy your food. You're welcome.